idea, Sheriff. You're all under a alibi. Get their guns. Wild horses happen to be protected in this state, Harvey. There ain't no law against a man looking for his own strays among the wild bunch, is there? I'm not wasting time talking with you. It's your boss, Rance McGowan, I want. Get moving. be better idea to have a state law protecting stone instead of them wild horses. He'll snap out of it, don't worry. With all the he-men around town, I don't see what you see in that young squirt anyhow. Sheriff and the Mesquiteers are coming into town with Harvey and the boys. You keep quiet, let me do the talking. I captured your men attempting to steal wild horses off the state refuge, McGowan. Why, that's impossible. What have you got to say about it? I told the sheriff here was looking for some of them strays you lost. <laughs> that's right. I guess I'm to blame, Sheriff. I sent the men out to look at some brood mares I lost last week. Rance, I'll accept your story this time. But I'm warning you and your men that if I catch any of them on protected range again without my permission, I'll prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. <laughs> I can assure you, Sheriff, it will never happen again. It was entirely an accident. You would have to get caught at a time like this, Harvey. I've got orders for over a thousand head of horses at double the usual price. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. It never happened before, though. We did all right on the other three raids, didn't we? There are four men standing between us and a fortune. The sheriff and the three musketeers. I want them out of the way. How you do it is your own business. Now you're talking, Rance. I'm a bet mixed up in this wild horse stealing. You're probably right, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. Tim, come out from wherever you're hiding. That's the fifth hole you shot in that hat of mine, Tim, with that air rifle of yours. Now, what have you got to say for yourself? I was only practicing that, so I could be a good deputy for you. Well, you can come right into the office and... Gee whiz, I've got the brass just about shined off of those cuspidors now. Winding the trail into the dark, finding the trail that we go on. Wagon wheels keep turning where it leads. Happy.
as I live and breathe, if it isn't one of them singing cowboys. <laughs> That was grand singing. I ain't heard the light since the night my grandpap Zuby was hung. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Stoney. Remember your public. Speaking to my grandpap, there was a singer. Why, folks, when he started singing, they wasn't a hog within 15 miles and wouldn't come a running. <laughs> he could imitate a hog, too. <laughs> Well, if you two clowns think you can come in here like this and make fools out of Rita me, you've got... That's where you're wrong, Stoney. Rita beat us to it. I don't have to stay here and listen to insults, Stoney. Tucson, you're going too far. I like Rita, and I want you to show her the respect she's entitled to. I've pulled you out of dozens of these puppy romances before, Stoney. Don't slip your hauler now. Don't you see, she's not your type of girl. That's enough. You can save your mother goose rhymes for lullaby. I'm asking you to keep out of it. All right, Stoney. That's the way you feel about it. How you doing, Rita? I'd be doing all right if it wasn't for that big A2 song. You're gonna have a tough time, dearie. Those boys are closer than the Siamese twins. Oh, yeah? Well, take a look at the baby that's going to perform the operation. Hey, a lot of things could happen in a free-for-all. Stoney and I are going to be spliced before Lullaby and Tucson can do anything about it. What's the matter? You didn't used to be so particular? Well, I am now. Let go of my Sit arm. Down. enough to hit some innocent bystanders. Say, Tucson, you reckon this could be the old army game? Well, I'll be gall darned if it ain't the same bunch of like hunting horses so much. Yeah, I noticed that. Say, hey, hold them here a minute. I'll be right back. Rita, you don't belong here. I'd like to see you out of all this. Stoney, you were so brave. Tucson, my grandpap Zuby always says us humans ought to be taught to appreciate and respect horses. I'm going to teach these hombres grandpap's methods. I want you to apologize to this great dad in here for having ever killed any of his ancestors or descendants. Man, you're crazy as a loon. I say apologize, Savvy. Repeat after me. Oh, mighty king of the wild horses. Oh, oh mighty king, king of the wild, wild horses. horses. We apologize for having caused any trouble to your cousins, uncles, or aunts. We apologize for having caused any trouble to your uncles, cousins, or aunts. We promise to respect horses from now henceforth. We promise, we promise to respect horses from now and henceforth. Gents, your apology was plum pitch. Much obliged. Let's get back to the ring. Are you coming, Harvey? 
Oh, about half through. Turn him around. Let's see. Good. Now finish painting him. He ought to look enough like that wild stallion to fool anybody. He will. Tonight we really start something. By morning, wild horses, especially that pinto stallion, will be mighty unpopular in this section. natural life, according to the doctor. Are you dead sure it was the Pinto Stallion and his wild bunch? Well, I'm dead sure, Sheriff. You can't mistake him even at night. Yeah, and I saw him, plain as day. Half my saddle horses left with him. If you don't do something about it, I'm going to the state. Doesn't it seem rather strange that the Pinto Stallion and his band should suddenly turn up in this district and go on a rampage? Why, their stamping grounds are miles up in the Badlands. There's always a first time for everything, Tucson. And Sheriff, we demand that the Pinto Stallion be destroyed. Oh, the Pinto's no more a killer than you are, and I'm not going to stand by and see him slaughtered. Now, take it easy, Sony. We'll decide what to do with the Pinto after we capture him. I want you, Tucson, and Lullaby to go with me tonight. The rest of you go on home. Like the herd separated here, boys. We'd better split up. Tony, you and Tucson take one of the trails. Lullaby and I'll take the other. Signal if you find any trace of the pinto. Right. Trail. Get the horses back to the ranch quick. If the sea volcano painted up, it'll be just
There's no mistake now. That horse is a killer. The death of Sheriff Miller cinches the deal for us. Get the boys ready for the biggest drive we ever made. You reckon we'll have any trouble with them musketeers? Tucson's being made sheriff. He can't stop that law from being revoked now. The ranchers are out to avenge our late beloved sheriff. <laughs> Good luck, Tucson. Thanks. Thank you, folks. I'll do my best to earn the confidence that you've shown in me. Tim, I'm going to make you my chief deputy, just like you were for your dad. Much obliged, Tucson. Maybe if I do my work right, I'll grow up to be a real sheriff someday, just like my dad was. You sure enough can, Tim. I'm appointing Lullaby here to see that you get special training. Gee, that's well. You know everything, don't you, Lullaby? Well, not quite, Sonny. But we'll get along. Larry, take Tim back to the ranch with you. But I brought the boys in to help you round up the pinto. You and the boys got all the work you can do at the ranch, Larry. Stoney and Lullaby are all the help I'll need. Thanks. Come on, Tim. Goodbye, Tucson. A lot of luck, Tucson. I'm banking on you, Sheriff. Bring the Pinto back. I'm sorry, Tucson. I'm not going with you. What's the matter? Did I forget to ask Rita's permission? Leave Rita out of this. I'm not going because I don't think the Pinto Stallion's a killer. But I saw the Stallion kill Miller. Tony, you're going whether you like it or not. I'm deputizing you right now. You either go horse hunting with me or you go to jail. Well, it didn't take long for that tin badge to go to your head, did it? All right, I'll go. But don't count on any help from me. I know just how Stoney feels about her. Well, my third wife used to raise a holy ruckus every time I left her. Too bad about her, though. Took her out riding one day. She fell off a horse, broke her leg. We had to shoot her. Oh, come on, Rita. looking horse for a killer. He spotted it. We'll never get a rope on him now. Wait. Get the coat. That youngster will save us chasing the Pendle Stallion all over the state. Well, there isn't any doubt who his daddy is. That's what I'm banking on. Come, come, my child. There's a small spot for a trap a few hundred yards back.
And we sure played in luck this time. Yeah, we were lucky just because he was man enough to want to help his colt. Getting kind of soft-hearted? Don't forget he killed Miller, the best friend we ever had. He ain't never had shoes on, fella. Tell me, Sheriff Smith, how do you account for the fact that Miller's body showed the marks of horseshoes and the pinnacle stallion's never been shot? That's interesting, Stoney. Well, it's evidence enough. Now will you turn him loose? I'm running this show, Stoney. The pinnacle goes back to town to stand trial. Lullaby, turn the coat loose. Along to your ma, youngster. Keep out of bad company when you grow up. in the Pinto Stallion. That's bad. If they kill the Pinto, Volcano's usefulness is over. You boys keep on your toes and watch for an opening. If he's destroyed, our troubles will be over. Tucson, I have a petition here signed by the ranchers asking the governor to let us destroy that herd of wild horses. Now, all we need is your signature. I'm not interested in signing any petitions yet. The Pinto Stallion has been brought back here for trial. He's entitled to a defense. Well, I'll defend him, and I'll prove he's not a killer. Miller's body showed the marks of horses, and that Pinto's never been shod. What have you got to say about it, Lullaby? You saw Miller killed. I reckon so, Jed. All I saw was the Pinto Stallion rearing over Miller just before the stampede. Well, that's proof enough, ain't it? It sure is. Pinto Stallion's a killer, and he's got to be destroyed. What do you think you're going to do? And give him a chance to prove he's not a killer. Easy now, boys. We're going to show him what a swell horse you really are. Whoa now, whoop. Whoa now, whoop. 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 Now, boy. Oh, now, whoop. That's no way to act, old timer. You have it the heart of a killer, and you know it. Easy, son. Easy. There, that's better. See? Nothing to be afraid of. You wouldn't hurt me if you had a good chance. Well, what do you know about that? I sure have to hand it to you, Stoney. You sure got nerve. Thanks. Well, that ought to satisfy you skeptical hombres that that Pinto Stallion is no killer. That's no proof he didn't kill Miller. I'm in favor of putting him out of the way as soon as possible. The majority of the ranchers want the Pinto destroyed, uh, Tucson. I represent the law, Judge. My personal feelings and opinions don't count. He'll be shot in the morning. If the wild horse herd continues to destroy property after the death of the Pinto Stallion, I'll sign your petition to the governor. That's all, folks. That Pinto's not guilty, and I'm not going to sit quietly by and see him killed. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. I've been worried about you. We have, too. I'm so happy, dear, and everything's all ready. The boys and girls have worked so hard. It can be this afternoon, can't it? Sure, anytime you say. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> yes, me too. I, uh, uh, where is it going? I mean, uh, where, where, where is it, Rita? And can I invite everybody? Yeah, sure, invite them all. I... Listen, everybody. Stoney and I want you all to come to our wedding this afternoon. It'll be at the cantina, and there'll be a big party before and after. Wedding? Why, I... Why, you long-eared jackass. You haven't brains enough to know you're being railroaded into this thing. I've told you before to keep your nose out of my affairs, and I meant it. If I'm getting married, that's my business. Is that clear? 
I don't want to come between you and your best friend, Stoney. No, forget it. He was my friend. This marriage is coming off according to schedule, whether Tucson likes it or not. Come on, folks, the drinks are on me. I'll say they are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Something ought to be done about this lullaby. Well, you're the sheriff. Why don't you arrest her for manslaughter or something? There ought to be some good way to bust up a wedding. Hey, we might break Stoney's leg. I'm through interfering, lullaby. He brought this on himself. This is Tony's wedding. And one drink won't do no harm. I said milk and milk it is. I'm getting sick and tired of acting as a nurse aide to you. Unless you stay on the wagon, I'm leaving you. Take a look at that bum along the side of you. That's what you look like if you don't watch your step. You keep that dummy quiet, or I'll wrap this bottle around your neck. I'd rather be a dummy than a drunk any day. I'll bet while you're in here squandering your money, your wife and kids are going hungry. Friend, there's no greater evil in this world today than the curse of drink. Every one of you gents has an old gray-haired mother or a sweetheart waiting for you somewhere. Would they be proud of you at this minute? No. Every time you take a drink, you fellows are one step further from salvation. Boy. It isn't too late. Reform now while you still have a spark of manhood. Give up this vicious habit. Get out of here, will you? Say, that was a pretty good speech, wasn't it? I'm kind of dry now. Make me a double whiskey with a gin chaser. <laughs> hey, milk's good enough for me, and it's good enough for you. Here, hold Elmer for a minute. I'll be right back. Thanks, What do you want? If you've come here to upset my wedding plans... You got me all wrong, Rita. I just want to congratulate you. And wish you luck. Let bygones be bygones. I got something I want to say to you. Shoot, what's on your mind? You know, Stoney and me have been friends for years. And I figured it is about time to settle down. Yeah? I was just telling Tucson. What we need around our ranch is a woman's touch. You're going to be mighty popular, along with the cowhands, all 16 of them. Just between you and me, the boys are kind of sick of my cooking anyhow. Cooking? It ain't so bad. I only cook three meals a day for six days. On Sunday, it's easy. The boys come to town for their supper. Of course, it's a lot easier when I had a chime around to help me with the washing. But I figure that Stoney ought to get you a newfangled washing machine, and that ought to help a lot. If you think I'm going out to the ranch to wash and cook and sew for a bunch of filthy cowboys, you're crazy. As soon as Stoney and I are married, I'm going back to New York. I'm an actress, not a washwoman. I'm sorry if it hurt your feelings, Mom. I hope you saved up enough money for the trip. I'm saved up enough? I thought Stoney had that. Stoney's got no money. That's too bad. Why, isn't he a third partner in the ranch? That's right. But Stoney and me give Tucson power of attorney to handle all the money. 
Well, we can't get a dime without Tucson's permission. Well, he never told me a word about that. You know, Rita, you're too good to be wasting your ability in a honky-tonk like this. I'll bet a smart gal like you that landed in New York with a thousand dollars in her pocketbook will go plenty for her. The same girl could go much farther on two thousand dollars. Wouldn't surprise me, huh? No. She'd go far enough on fifteen hundred. Of course, the uh, ticket would have to be paid for. Sure, one way. Have you got the cash now? As soon as you throw Stoney over, you'll get it. Meet me in a couple of minutes at Tucson's table. I hope New York appreciates what we're doing for him, Mom. I'm glad to see it my way. Certainly do. Dan? Certainly. Wait a minute, Tucson. Bridegroom always gets the first dance. That's what you think. Tucson, I'm not kidding. I want this dance. Oh, ask you, Ray. Don't make an idiot out of yourself just because I want to dance with Tucson. Idiot, am I? You'll do as I say, and you're not dancing with Tucson. Don't you start bossing me around now. Just because you rushed me into this marriage proposal doesn't mean I have to go through with it, you know. Rushed you? I'm glad this thing happened. It showed me your true character. I don't want any jealous yokel hanging around my neck for the rest of my life. We don't want... Stoney, this ring ought to belong on one of the local corn-fed maidens. That's yours. So you arranged this, huh? I've warned you about meddling in my affairs, haven't I? It's all turned out for the best, Stoney. We... When I count three, draw. You and two sign a bed pal too long to end like this, Stoney. Let me alone and get out of here. One. Two, three. Still pulling the big brother act, huh? Stoney, you're going loco. We're through. The Tucson I knew wouldn't have pulled a dirty trick like that. And what's more, he wouldn't have let a crowd of ranchers bulldoze him into condemning an innocent horse. See of Rita. Now Stoney will come to his senses. I don't know. Stoney never acts upset over a gal before. Oh, he's a little hot headed, but he'll get over it. I'm betting he'll be at the ranch when we get there. Why, look, fella. Stoney. He's sailing the Pedro Stallion. Get your horses. Come on. just got away with the Pingo Stanley. The sheriff and his party are after him. Which way were they headed? Out towards the Badlands. That gives me an idea. Come on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
after my rank. I saw the posse off your trail. Well, there's sudden interest in me. Mainly because I don't like your ex-friend Tucson. Better get going, Stoney. Horse stealing is plum serious. Harvey will go with you. Tony Pasu leading the Pinto Stallion. Yeah, he was going like a streak. Turn him off the road into the Badlands. Thanks. Gag, Harvey. We're gone send Stoney here to wait for him. He'd be along as soon as he finishes throwing the sheriff's posse off Stoney's trail. What are you doing to the Pinto Stallion? That's what the sheriff and the posse would like to know. Well, McGowan's the boss. I reckon if he sent you out here, he had a good reason. Come on, I'll show you where to bunk. <laughs> Explains a lot of things, Harvey. Such as the effect on that black stallion that you've got painted up to look like the pinto. Drop it, Stoney, and start reaching. Take him to the bunkhouse. about it, Tucson, but I'm sure glad Stoney got away. I'm glad too, Lullaby, but that won't help matters. He's a fugitive from the law, and it's up to me or Sheriff to run him down. How about resigning from office? That ought to put you in the clear. Sure. But what about Stoney? He's in a tough jam. And turning in my star won't help matters any. Yeah, that's true. But we gotta do something to save him. He wouldn't have gotten this mess if I hadn't have framed him with reading you. It's all my fault. Afraid we get in trouble? No, but I ain't so sure about Stoney. I was out hunting jackrabbits, and I saw him hightailing through the hills towards McGowan's ranch with Joe Harvey, and they was leading the Pinto Stallion. Come on. Hey, ain't you gonna take me with you? Not this time, Tim. You stay here and look after things. How are you, Stoney? Everything under control? No complaints, Rant. Listen, Stoney, now that you know Volcano works to a few whistles, you're really going to have a chance to see the horse in action. But you may not live to tell about it. One more killing blamed on the Pinto Stallion and the state ban on wild horses will be lifted pronto. Well, I've seen a lot of clever stunts go haywire, Rant. Bring him along.
I had a pin though standing up, but get ready to turn volcano loose. Say I'm not giving you a chance anyway, Stoney. The longer you can dodge volcano, the longer you'll live. You're crazy, Rand. Do you think you can pull a stunt like this and get away with it? The Pinto Stallion is accused of being a killer, and the law's on your trail for stealing him. When they find you here with the Pinto tied nearby, it will be as clear a case as Miller's death. Outfitter in back of the whole setup. They're using the black killer horse painted to look like the pit off. You sure had the right hunch, Tony. Yeah. That lullaby. Where'd they get you? Take care of yourself, partner. I'm done for. Promise me that after I'm gone, that you two will be pals again. I won't ever let nothing bust up your friendship. I promise, lullaby. I 
I thought you were badly wounded. Oh, they only got from boot heel. That knocked my feet out from under me. I just wanted you two to make up. <laughs> Saturday, Romeo. Aren't you going to town? Oh, I'm cured. Yes, sir, that's the way my grandpa Zuby used to do it. <laughs> 